Hello everyone, my name is Luminitsa and welcome to my channel. Lately I've observed that the topic of Pachacucha presentation goes really popular because now we're in a more of back to school, back to university mood. Because of the pandemic, a lot of people are doing home office so they need to know how to present online and so on. And I already have on this channel a video where I explain you what Pitcha Kucha is. So if you've never ever heard about it, go and check it out here. I'll tell you there about the story, the name, and generally what this technique means. Also, I upload, uploaded a follow-up video with how to make a Pitcha Kucha presentation, where I really show you every single step of how I optimize the process of creating the best Pitcha Kucha ever. And I really explain every single step and I give you some tips and tricks from my own experience. So if you didn't watch it yet, also go and check it out here. But today, after talking so much around this topic, I decided to really show you. I prepared a Pitcha Kucha presentation myself and today I will present it to you. So enjoy. We all are public speakers and I mean it. So far in your life, you've already given more than 50 presentations. And it doesn't matter if they were small or big, prepared or spontaneous, online or offline. They all took place, which makes you, yes, you, a true legit and actually experienced public speaker. So what do you think when you are asked to give one more presentation? And how do you feel right before taking the stage? Are you excited? Are you looking forward to be able to share your experience and ideas? Do you enjoy writing your scripts and creating your slides? And are you thrilled to be in the spotlight in front of, a, of an audience? Or are you rather scared? Are you trying to avoid at any cost to be heard or seen? Do you hate thinking of a text and designing slides? And are you afraid to be in the spotlight in front of a big audience? If the second description sounds more like you, then don't worry. You are not alone in that. On the contrary, according to the latest studies, the majority of the Earth's population feels exactly the way you do about it all. More specifically, 73%, which makes glossophobia or public speaking anxiety more popular than the fear of spiders, heights, and even death. But why so many people feel this way? It's actually all in our genes and in the reptilian brain. One part of it is called amygdala and this almond-shaped element is responsible for some core emotions such as anger and even fear. But does that mean that your amygdala doesn't want you to talk or be seen? And how come you can easily talk to your best friends, but you would rather eat a spider than talk in front of a big audience? Well, the answer is easy and as old as our humankind. You easily talk to your friends because they are your friends. Meaning that you and your lovely amygdala know that they love and accept you. So when there is a predator around, they will help you survive. On the other side, that group of people who stares at you is unknown. You don't know and consequently fear that they will not like and accept you. Which brings you into an actual life threatening situation. Think back to the first date with your all-time crush. You wanted it so badly that he or she liked you back that you surely started to be super nervous, get sweaty palms, a dry mouth, and your heart rate was at 
200 bits per second. Thousands of years ago, it was less about impressing and more about surviving. And although right now, our life doesn't depend anymore on our tribe, our reptilian brain doesn't know it. So it tries to protect us. Now, being a bit nervous before having a performance is totally normal. Everyone is and everyone will be, no matter how much experience you have. Actually, being excited means that you are passionate and you care about your topic and your audience. The real problems start when your nervousness turns into an uncontrollable anxiety or panic attacks. If, you fe if your fear makes you last minute cancel your presentations and it even provokes you physical pain. This is serious. These extreme cases can be connected to strong psychological traumas, most of them coming from the childhood and the teenage time. Only by addressing them first, together with a specialist, one can mild and even overcome stage fright. If you, however, are nervous yet not panicking, then you can work on your fear of public speaking by taking the A, A, B steps, which stand for awareness, acceptance, and practice. In the first step, you should get aware of this problem, which you actually already did in this video. Congratulations! Next, you have to learn to accept the fact that, th that this nervousness exists and it will unfortunately always, always exist. The last step is practice, practice and again, practice. Public speaking and presentation giving are actually skills. So similarly to workout, mathematics and makeup, the more you do it, the better you get at it. So does the fear of public speaking even exist? Not really. It's your amygdala making sure that you are safe and sound. Can you 100% liquor it? Mm, no, because it's part of our DNA and human being. But you can learn to control it and not let you stop from doing amazing presentations. Yes, you can. And now you even know how. So free yourself from your own limitations and achieve greatness. Thank you very much. And welcome back. I hope that you enjoyed the presentation. As you could have noticed, I followed all the classical Pachacucci rules. So there were 20 slides. I spent 20 seconds per slide. I used only pictures and the whole presentation was 6 minutes 40. I also hope that from my presentation you'll learn more about public speaking and mainly fear of public speaking if you indeed have panic attacks and you can feel a physical pain from your anxiety. I highly encourage you to talk to a specialist because this can be solved. If you are just slightly nervous, and truly speaking, I am also nervous every single time when I give some presentations, then I really use myself the three steps, the AAP steps, and I can gladly recommend it to you. If you also want to learn more about public speaking, communication and presentations, you can click here and here. Click here to support this channel by subscribing to it. Give this video a thumbs up comment something, click on the bell button to always get notified. Thank you very much for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye!